This story begins in the summer of 1970 when an 11 year old boy scout from Cambridge, Nebraska by the name of Greg Lovelady packed up his camping gear and headed off to summer camp. Having spent previous summers swimming in the nearby Republican River gave Greg the confidence to enter the BSA mile swim event. Although he was the youngest swimmer in camp, by the end of the week he was the first one to complete the challenge. A couple of years later, Greg and his family moved to Plainville, Kansas, where his Boy Scout adventures were relatively unknown. You see, by that time, Greg had developed a new love. It was a love of good-looking, fast cars, and boy did he ever own and drive some dandies. It culminated in his signature ride, an instant classic, a very rare 1977 Chevelle SE which he still owns to this day. Over the next 35 years or so, Greg married well, and he and his wife Kathy raised a couple of outstanding kids. You know, the kind of kids that make you proud to know them. He also continued a family tradition of making a career in the oil patch. Keeping him company every day was his trusted pal, Billy. Billy quickly became one of the most well-known and loved dogs in the oil field and on Facebook. Then one frightening day, Greg was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, the kind that very few people survive. With limited treatment options available, Greg summoned all his courage and strength, as well as a loyal group of prayer warriors, to fight the demon in his body. It is not uncommon for people sensing their own mortality to reminisce about the many blessings and happy memories received in their lifetime. For Greg, this manifested itself in a steady stream of throwback pictures showing up on Facebook, including the Boy Scout photos at the beginning of this slideshow. Seeing those pictures made me realize that Greg and I had both swam the BSA mile in our youth, but did not know it until almost 40 years later. By the summer of 2015, Greg had been battling cancer for two long years. With the help of some very expensive experimental drugs, thousands of prayers, the support of his loving brother Mike, who had been battling with cancer himself, Greg had beaten very long odds and had successfully beaten back the tumors, while his PSA had returned to barely detectable. But the fight had taken its toll. Only those who have experienced this battle can truly understand. Wanting to do something to lift Greg's spirits, I decided that I would attempt to swim the mile again while attending Camp D.G. Hansen at Lake Kerwin with my son Victor. However, I wasn't sure I could still do it since 37 years had passed since the last time I swam the mile with my good friend Fred Wise, also at Camp Hansen. Well, as many of you know, on June 12, 2015, I made it, and I've been swimming miles dedicated to Greg Lovelady ever since. Some people have asked me, why am I doing this? Well, mainly for moral support. You see, when you're fighting for your life, you have to keep going, even when you're weary. I promised Greg that if he would keep on fighting, then I would keep on swimming. Well, it's September 2016 now and I'm very close to completing my goal of swimming 100 miles for you, Greg, while simultaneously working on another series of swims for my sister, Sandra Hickert, who is battling chronic respiratory ailments. As I've updated you, Greg, on my progress, both in cumulative distance and faster speed, you have thanked me for each and every mile. But truthfully, Greg, it's I that should be thanking you. You see, your strength and courage has inspired me to do something I didn't think was possible. If someone would have told me 15 months ago that I would swim 100 miles for a friend, I would have said they were crazy. But ultimately, it's just another example of one of my favorite Bible verses, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Stay strong, Greg, love lady, and God bless you.